What's up everyone? This is Asad and today I'm going to show you how you can set the visited link active using PHP. So let me show you the end product. Uh, here's my simplest navigation bar and it has four pages. So currently I'm on contact us page. So the contact, contact us link has a different background color. So this is called the active link. The active link indicates the which page is currently open. So if I click about page, the about link has the same gray background color. Alright, so now let's start writing the codes. Uh, here's my text editor and I'm on sublime text editor 3 and it's my first file which is index.php. So I have to generate my markup. Here's my markup. Meta chart set. UTF. It. So now I have to create my CSS file and I have to put this file inside a public directory and the public directory will be containing the CSS directory. So I have to put my file inside the CSS directory. The file name will be style.css. So now I have to include my CSS file which is inside public, then another directory which is CSS and the file name is style.css. Okay, so now I have to create my navigation bar, nav, ul, li and the first link is going to be my home page the second link is going to be about third will be client and the fourth will be contact So here's I have to put the uh, PHP code to make it dynamic to select the page names. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'll use the server super, super global array, uh, which is dollar underscore server and the index name will be php underscore self the php underscore self if you are using this index name so this index name will return the page you are currently at let me show you So currently the page looks like this, and here's uh, here's the uh, here's the link I'm talking about. I got this link, but I need this index.php only, the page name. So what I'm going to do now is I have to pass this uh, server array to another function, which is base name. is base name php base name is a php built in function and that will return me the file name the file name which i am currently at so if i refresh the page so it has returned that i am currently on index.php okay so now i have to uh, style my navigation bar for this, I would like to go back to my Mozilla Developer Tools, Inspect Elements, and Style. If I refresh the page, here's my style sheet. I 
increased my style sheet size so can you so that you can easily view the fonts okay so nav background color uh, which is black nav dual and list style none nav ul li i have to put my links side by side for this i have to i'm going to use display inline display inline so i should put these uh, links in the center of the page for this i have to go to my ul tag and i have to write text align center perfect so now I have to target the anchor tags which are the immediate child of uh, list items color should be white text decoration none padding 20 pixels and the link tag the anchor tag is an inline element so it will not respect the vertical rules for so in order to make it to respect the vertical rules I have to apply a property which is uh, display inline block I have to make it the make it a block level element I think instead of 20 uh, pixels, it should be 15 pixels. And the width should be 120 pixels or lesser than that. 100 pixels. Yeah, 100 looks perfect. So now I have to target my anchor tag once again and I have to use the pseudo class which is uh, hover and if I take my cursor to any of the links so the background color will be changed. So the background color will be um, Ash five 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 five, which is gray. If I take my cursor to any of the link, so the link has a background color gray. Perfect. I have to apply the same color to the active link as well. Active. Here's my class uh, which has the name active which I suppose to put which I suppose to apply to my currently visited list items anchor tags. So the background color would be the same as above gray color. Okay, so now I have to copy this code and paste it inside my CSS file. If I go back and now if I if I have to close this refresh so it's working okay so now it's time to display the page uh, the page names as well so for this I have to go back and I have to put this line over here inside the heading tag so it says I'm currently on index.php so now it's time to write the logic 
to make my links active dynamically. So currently I am on home page. So I have to put this piece of PHP code over here because I suppose to dynamically apply the apply the class which is active this one whichever uh, link would be active this style would be applied to that uh, activated link to that active link so for this I have to copy this PHP code and I have to go over here and I have to write class I have to paste this code over here and I should I have to apply I have to um, yes I have to use the if statement but I'll be right I'll write the shorthand for PHP if the base name if the if the page name is index.php question mark if this condition is true then I have to apply the active class otherwise nothing so let's uh, check this out in the browser if I refresh the page so currently I'm on index.php so it has a different so the link has a different gray background color which is uh, highlighted with a gray background so if I go back and I actually I have to copy this line just to save the time and paste it three more times because I have three more pages. Copy, paste. So the next page is about dot php. About dot php. And here I have to write index.php and then about.php. So the next page would be clients.php. Clients.php. And the last name will be contact would be contact dot php contact dot php so if I go back if I refresh the page if I click the about button the object not found because uh, I I did not made made this page about dot php so let's go back to text editor to create the rest of these three pages about dot php clients dot php and contact dot php contact dot php clients dot php and about dot php I have copied this piece of code and I have to paste this code on every page. Paste and paste. So now if I go back, if I refresh the browser, so you can see currently I am on about.php. So if I click clients.php, so this link indicates that currently I am on clients.php page. So now it's looking perfectly fine. Okay, so this is it for this lesson and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and I'll see you in the next tutorial.